All right, guys, I'm about to build the sweetest little Warncliffe pattern you ever did see. This is a pattern, many of you know, it's like an EDC Warncliffe, a little, uh, a little food prep knife is what it's ground for in an EDC fashion as well. And I've got a custom order for one of these from a friend who wants it for his, uh, well, I'll say a friend. He's ordering it for a friend. We're gonna do some brass bolsters, and I was gonna do kind of like a brass guard, but then I, I thought, of course I can't do a protruding brass guard, because that would impede being able to hit a cutting board. So we're gonna do like a flat face bolster, two side, this thing is gonna be gorgeous. I've already got the scales glued up here. We're honoring a couple different provinces, Canadian provinces with the colors. Just wait until you see what we have cooked up here. But we're gonna get this ground in. We're gonna, we're working on a tight time schedule here now. So let's tackle this build. Get as much done as we can today. Now we've got a couple holes drilled through the tank. That's where our pins are going to be sitting to hold the bolster. And what I'll use is some transfer punches here now so I can drill into our brass. The transfer punches are really handy to have around in case you haven't seen them before. They're set for the hole size so I know that this indentation now made in the brass is dead center of the holes. Otherwise, it's a bit of a guessing game. You can see here, got a hole set. They're not expensive. They don't have to be expensive but they are nice to have. You can see this large one here. If you were trying to transfer, oh, come on. If you were trying to transfer a hole this size onto something else, it would be hard to find that center point, but not if you have transfer punches like this. Look at that. Machine dead center. Okay, when I throw that brass bolster on there loosely, we get to this line right here. So I mark right here, I'll take my grind back pretty close to there. I wanna leave a little bit of space between the, the edge and the guard, because you won't be able to sharpen back there and it'll get wonky, but that's what, we'll, that's what we'll do. Nice, high, lean, flat grind, let's jump on it. Make sure you're wearing your PPE as often as possible. Your personal protective equipment. I want those ears to be working good when I'm an old and gray. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm gray now. But we want those eyes protected, our lungs definitely, because anything that produces dust like this, you should be wearing a respirator. I As soon as the bevels are taken care of, we're into the forge. And here's where that steel goes from soft and workable to very hard. So after a heat treat and an overnight rest, this is what we have. Gorgeous Warncliffe pattern here. Nice and chalky finish. I'm gonna go ahead now and give this a wire wheeling. And then I think, hey boss. I think I'm going to re-grind this bevel. So I'm not gonna leave this one a full forge finish, but I'm gonna do a satin grind on the belt grinder, bring it in just to thin it out even a little bit thinner. Then we've gotta get our brass on there. That's the next step.
Ah, I like that, huh? Look at that blade finish. A little bit smudgy there now, but now we're gonna get it covered in tape. We have a very fine edge that's ready for uh, for sharpening them out. This is just gonna perform beautifully, but now it's time to get the brass on there. So we paint out one side of the pins, put them through, cut off the excess length to just right in the sweet spot, and then we paint the other side of the head, and it's a permanent fit at that point. Just wait until you see these multi-part scales that my dad put together. Just incredible. All cured up here guys and it is roasting hot. Getting a little bit worried about chafing here. So I'm walk easing my way around the shop nice and slow. I'd say within the next year we'll have to do an air conditioning system because we don't have one in this building. Like I said, she is toasty here today. But we're going to gear up. Regardless, we're going to get the respirator on, get into the grinder and take this thing down to size. I can't wait to see how that looks. I don't do a brass bolster like this often, but when I do, always love it. We're gonna be doing a run like this soon. Uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and shoot me an email, and uh, maybe we could start putting together some kind of list or something, because I like to do a whole batch of knives with custom brass work like this. That would be awesome. result my friends I still have to take it in I'll put that final edge I'll hand finish this one but have a look at how stunning that is different blade finish on this one not our traditional forge finish but our standard Warncliffe pattern available at Connellswith.com but we did that brass bolster and just look how gorgeous that is I just love that what it adds to the knife so beautiful then of course tapered perfectly into that multi-part handle with the colors that uh, have a lot of value to what will be the owner of this knife. Thanks so much for watching this one, guys. Thank you to the gentleman who placed the order. You are a good man, and thank you for making me a part of this special build of this gift for a, for a dear friend and family member. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. Check out Connellsley.com or email me for custom inquiries. Links all below there now.